This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. I would like to start off uh, because of this reporting on Paper Excellence, because this is a company that now controls 22 million hectares of Canadian forests. Uh, so, uh, it's been said um, an area larger than Nova Scotia. What concerns me is that they control Resolute, Domtar, Northern Pulp. Their ownership says they're Canadian based, but what we've been trying to track is it goes through a whole series of shell companies set up in Netherlands, Malaysia, Malaysian offshore jurisdiction of Labuan, two shell companies in the Virgin Islands, and all of them are tied back to Indonesia and the Sinar Mas group. So do we have any certainty whether this company is a Canadian company and who are they? So thank you, Mr. Angus. As you know, all investments, no matter their value, are subject to review under the Investment Canada Act. Paper Excellence's acquisition of Resolute was subject to the national security review provisions under the Investment Canada Act, and Canada's lead security agencies were consulted on the transaction. Recognizing the need to ensure this investment continues to be in Canada's best interest as part of the review process, the investor had provided meaningful commitments to Canada, which include ensuring strong levels of investment to facilities in Quebec, maintaining existing patents, maintaining Canadian participation on Resolute's board and senior management team, and adhering to Canadian employment and environmental laws. I find that interesting because um, let's look at Northern Pulp in Nova Scotia where the, this company was, the company was given an $85 million holiday from paying money they owed to the people of Nova Scotia. They failed to pay $2.5 million in special pension payments. In December 2021, uh, they launched a lawsuit against the people of Nova Scotia to the, to the level of $450 million for, quote, indemnified losses because of the pollution at their plant uh, in Boat Harbor was shut down. And a report recently said that Northern Pulp's mill there exceeded the federal threshold of emissions by 100,000%. I've never heard that number used anywhere. So how could a company that is suing the people of Nova Scotia that has such a bad environmental track record, how can they assure the federal government that they are going to abide by all of Canada's laws and be good corporate partners? Well, as you know, the Government of Canada was very much involved in enforcing um, the provisions that actually led to uh, to the decision to shut down that plant because Boat Harbour was so polluted. Um, but as I say, with respect to this particular investment, it was reviewed under the Investment Canada Act. There were a number of provisions that, that they had to prove to uh, to the relevant authorities, including the security agencies, and, uh, and uh, again, um, those, those uh, procedures were all followed. Would you say then that the uh, review looked into their connections to the Asia Pulp and Paper Company? Because there are serious questions about Asia Pulp and Paper. Human rights violations, environmental damage, even uh, accusations of murder against uh, human rights activists. And the connection between APP and Paper Excellence seems to be that they're the same family, same people. And the allegation is that this is set up as a, quote, fiber grab for Chinese mills backed by Chinese bank state financing. So can you confirm whether or not that the connection to Asia Pulp and Paper was investigated? So what I can say to you is all of the relevant um, avenues under the Investment Canada Act were followed by the various agencies. Um, and uh, as you will know, the Investment Canada Act actually resides under the Minister of, of Industry, Science and Economic Development, not the Minister of Natural Resources. But as I understand it, Mr. Angus, you, you actually have put on, on notice an idea that uh, the committee actually have a look at that, and uh, that is certainly within the committee's purview. I, I fully understand. Thank you, Minister, for that. That uh, you know, it, it it is the minister, uh, the other minister's responsibility for the review. But my concern is 22 million hectares of Canadian forest, fragile forest. These, this is this is this is something that all Canadians have a great stake in. Um, I'm wondering if you could tell us whether or not Jackson Wijaya Limantara is he a Canadian citizen? Is he a permanent resident of Canada? I mean, we're looking into this guy. Uh, it seems that he's all part of the the Wajaya family, which has a value of $10.8 billion, one of the wealthiest families in Indonesia, sole shareholder of the Sinar Ma Chinese Investment Corporation. They own, own 100% shares of all the seven uh, Asia pulp and paper mills in China. Can you tell us whether or not uh, this man is, a, is living in Canada or is this business being run out of Shanghai? 
So I would say uh, I certainly agree with with uh, your point that it is important for Canadians to understand um, the ownership of uh, of uh, Canadian forests uh, in the same way, and and also to ensure that we are very thoughtful about the acceptance of Chinese investment. As you noted, we uh, we actually turned down three uh, companies that were actually raising money in the critical mineral space uh, on on from uh, Chinese state owned enterprises. Um, these are all the questions that obviously the national security folks would have actually looked at uh, under the Investment Canada Act. But as I say, uh, the committee is certainly within its uh, its uh, purview to actually look to seek more uh, more detail from the relevant authorities. Good, because one of their former managers at the APP Shanghai office says that their takeover of our Canadian mills is quote a fiber grab. They want to keep the perception that paper excellence is an asset of Canada for Canada and by Canada, but in reality, it is a feeder for the Chinese machine. So. Give Given uh, the situation that we're dealing with right now with political uncertainty with China, can you confirm whether or not you will be looking into this matter? I think this is a matter certainly that the national security agencies and the relevant minister have been looking at, yes. Thank you very okay. much. And we're out of time on that.